Hi, good day everyone. Today I will be showing you how to use IFT and build your own applets. So what is IFT, by the way? IFT derives its name from the programming conditional statement, if this, then that. Tibis and Jessetine co-founded IFT in 2010 and officially launched the service in 2011. What a company provides is a software platform that connects apps, devices, and services from different developers in order to trigger one or more automations involving those apps, devices, and services. The automations are accomplished via applets, which are sort of like macros that connect multiple apps to run automated tasks. You can turn on or off an applet using its website or mobile apps. You can also create your own applets or make variations of existing ones via its user-friendly, straightforward interface. The if service is free for users. So here's how it works. First, you go to if website to create your account. And by the way, make sure you download the if mobile app as well so you can have easy access to your applets that are connected to your apps or devices. Now we're going to sign up to IFT's website by clicking the sign up button on the upper right hand corner. You can also use your Apple, your Google, or your Facebook account to get started with IFT. Let's say I want to use my Google account instead. So we click on continue with Google. And there you have it. Now once we're done creating our IFT account, we are now ready to explore applets that we want to use. Currently, there are 54 million if applets according to if. We can check it by clicking the explore button on the upper right hand corner of the screen. And then from here, you can check for applets we want to use and customize it. We can also create our own applets, which is what I'm going to show to you now. So to create your applets, click your profile on the upper right hand corner and select the option create. If this, then that. This is our building box. Now we click on R this. We're looking for a trigger that's going to tell us our applet when to run. So as you can see, if you scroll down, you can see tons of apps and devices that you can choose for your applet. Let's select Facebook page. We need to connect our Facebook page and let it know we're going to use it with if. So we click connect. I'm already logged into my Facebook page, so I just have to give IFT the permission. Facebook page can do tons of things with IFTs, so we have a choice of triggers. Let's pick new photo upload and page. So this triggers fires every time you upload photos in your Facebook page. We select that one. Now we need to click our that. So when our this happens and there is new content in our Facebook page, what do you want to happen? So here we can choose our action service. Let's say we want to get notified in our email. So we can just simply search on email. And now what I want is the email digest. So we click on that. And I want to select a weekly email digest so we can bundle up all our photos uploaded in our Facebook page. Now we just want to finish off the details. Let's say we want to get the digest later in a day so we can read it after work. So let's set it to 8 p.m. Everything else looks good. The ingredients here are the specific things we will be capturing. Looks like we get all the details when you upload photos in our Facebook page. Now we can click on create action then we review our applet, and if we're satisfied, we hit finish. Great, it's live, and it will start to gather up those photos for us. We can see this sitting happily when we click our profile on the upper right-hand corner, and we select My Applets. There you have it. Now let's say we want to change something on our applets. So we just click Settings on the upper right-hand corner, so we can reconfigure. Maybe we decided to change the day and say Wednesday is the best day to get those updates. So it's just a really simple change. So we 
click the day of the week and select Wednesday. Then we can update the description to reflect the new day. So you click on edit title and change Monday to Wednesday. And then after that, we click on save. And we're good to go. So it's very simple and you can add more applets and save it under my applets. So that's pretty much it. These are the basic steps in creating your applets and ifs. So I hope you find this useful, guys. Thank you for watching my video tutorial. God bless everyone. Bye.